Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech Cold Forged. Last episode we were on a kind of icy world and we pulled off a mission. We were fighting against the riflemen and a few other mechs. Picked up another exchanger, uh, plus two exchanger this time, which is awesome. And some heavy pharaoh. We're not going to install that just yet. Um, thinking about um, reloading out my centurion again. When we move off planet, I'm going to change out the thunderbolt, I think, and to pull out the SRM4 and change this out for an LRM-10, LRM-15. We have a double and triple plus weapon system that we're going to drop in here and then drop in LRM ammo with the dead fire ammo and use this as a point blank uh, murder mech. So, but until that point, we got to pull off some more contracts before we leave this planet. So I'm thinking what we're going to do today, I had a look, we're going to do insurrection protection. This is going to be a little longer mission, so we're going to jump into it right away. It's an escort mission. Really hoping that uh, we can find some good salvage in this. So we're going to negotiate this. We're sitting pretty, I think, for the end of the month, so we're okay. I'm going to go max salvage on this, except. And we're going to deploy in. Oh, sorry, we're going to take Raider out, put Pylon back in. Now that he's up to full health, let's deploy and get this done. All right, let's get right into this. Looks like the base is under attack already. Okay, I'm familiar with this map. If you remember my last series, um, we pulled an escort mission on this very same map and when we got to the end up here where we were delivering the uh, the vehicles to which is just over here um, an urban mech with a rack uh, I think it was a rack 2 came over the hill or a rack 5 I can't remember which one it was and like as soon as we got there they showed up walked over the hill and it smoked one of the vehicles and I lost I lost the full uh, um, uh, what do you want to call it? the full uh, mission so uh, we managed to get the rest of the vehicles off, but it did just, you know, come out of nowhere. Okay, so potential for three lances on this on this map, so let's just get moving here. These guys can spot us already. So it looks like one of the vehicles is the medium vehicle. We don't want to play around here very long. It's a good thing all of our mechs, with the exception of the Centurion, are fast, so we can move quickly. So I think I'm going to move... Who do, we want, who do we want to get in first here? Let's move... Um, can we get eyes on here? We can, but we're going to use recoil, I think, more so than anybody. Can he get eyes on both? Why can't he see both? Probably his tactics. That would probably be it. So let's reserve then. Let's see what this last vehicle does. There's probably a full lance here, which means there's probably somebody else somewhere. Hoping it's a medium mech. Okay, we're going to move to the right, or to the left, I mean. Sorry, I'm directionally dyslexic, so whenever I, <laughs> I say one direction, I generally mean the other. We're going to fire this one. Oh yeah, Zephyr, let's let's finish this guy up fast if we can. Wow. Wow. That was like all misses. No damage detected. Yeah, I know, I didn't even see any damage. Yep, yeah, another vehicle. Ooh. That's somebody with a rack. Or two racks, rack twos. We gotta get over there fast. So let's get Pylon moving. He's a beast once he gets moving. Still not happy that these uh, medium lasers are minus one to hit, but um, they are plus 10 damage, so I shouldn't complain too much. Okay, let's knock this Zephyr out if we can. I'm gonna try and save Hickory. Just save the missiles if we can. There we go. So their eyes on are gone. Let's get Hickory up on the hill if we can over here. Eh, not quite far enough. That's fine. Alright, we're on a planet now where our camouflage works well. Alright, let's see what they do here. That's a wasp. Ah, eh, well. 417 salvage isn't going to net us much, although if that's a rack, it's going to be nice. be nice if it was a rack, too, because maybe I can outfit that on the Centurion. Uh, let's move Hickory first. I want to put uh, some missiles down on this guy. Confirmed. Soften him up a bit. 60%. Good chances. Oh, two misses still. Wow. Comes that other light vehicle. Can't fire. Let's get you up here. 
Not going to move very far. We're going to fire everything on this guy. Nice. Yes, Commander. All right, pile on. That vehicle's a heavy vehicle back there. Okay, he's going to be able to see us. So we should probably engage him as best we can. No shooting. Just running. Give him a target that it's going to be hard for him to hit. Let's give him this guy with lots of chevrons of evasion. AC carrier. Oh, look at that. So all we got to do is hit him somewhere. Pretty much finish him up. Bad chances to hit, though. Yeah. I was really hoping that was a rack. That's a miss. Not much you can do about that. We're going to multi-target. Not from there, we're not, though. Let's just move forward. Oh, yeah, it's multi-target. Like this and like this. I've been playing uh, my other series, um, um, Funky Steve's Medinas. So, uh, for some reason, when you switch between back and forth, you start losing icons. I'm not exactly sure why that is, but uh, anyway. Let's fire everything. Oh, nice shot. Getting good with that AC. All we need is one Thunderbolt hit here. Nope. Oh well. No damage. Maybe it'll make him think twice about uh, hanging around. Yeah, good. We gave him the right target. That Phoenix Sock is so evasive. Okay, uh, let's get Rico finishing this Wasp up. And we're going to fire everything on the CT. I don't really want a wasp. There we go. Say bye-bye. Down into the ground. Let's see what this guy is. What was that? Scimitar. AC5 and SRM2 is not firing. That's weird. Okay, let's just walk it up. Love having the best chance to hit. Let's fire on the scimitar. Nice. Move her down. What's up, boss? Let's just walk up here. So this is just about it for their guard. Firing a full salvo. Is that enough? No. Almost though. Oh, it was. <laughs> nice. Okay. So I think I'm gonna get um Let's get Pylon back there. Yes, Recoil can come back up this way. So we got to stick with the vehicles as we go. What do you need? Hickory. Moving down here. Yeah, I'm really liking the uh, the Jenner now. I was never a big fan when I was versing it. It always seemed like something easy to kill. But used correctly, like if it doesn't move in, if it just stands back and fires continuously, it's actually quite a good mech. I mean, if you're firing the targets out in the open, that uh, 45 damage can be brutal. All right, recoil. Let's get you up here. Now, I don't know if we're going to have a second Lance attacking us right away. So I'm going to stick um, Hickory right close to uh, recoil. And Cold Metal's going to pull up front here. A little brace. And let's get Pylon getting the, activating our vehicles here. There we go. Let's do this. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile okay, so we do have hostile Connex inbound. And the Centurion is in the perfect position here to absorb their uh, initial shots. And it's nice that these heavy vehicles are actually moving a good distance. So they got a 20 tonner. They got four mediums. Panther. That's probably a Wasp or a Stinger. Uh, we're going to reserve. See what they do here. Let's get our wheeled APCs up here. What is, I don't know, that's a tiny one. We can't let them shoot on them. Yeah, he's pulling back. He sees us already. Doesn't want any piece of me. Another 20 tonner coming in. Here's a flea. That's fine. We've given them nice juicy targets to shoot at, so... 25 tonner, probably a commando. Yep, 1C. Who's he shooting at the vehicle? Ouch. 
Okay. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> That's twice on this map now. Really? Really? Let's show him. Let's just show this guy how dissatisfied with him we are. Wow. I just took both of his arms off. <laughs> what? To be fair, oh, that was the lead vehicle, too. It's supposed to be a heavy vehicle, but... Yeah, you can absorb all these missiles from these guys now. They're not very happy, either. I really hope that target we're supposed to protect wasn't in that vehicle. What's he down to? 31. I'm going to let them take care of him. Alright, I want you uh, here. Let's take on this flea. Fire everything on this guy. There's some punishment for you. Wow. Impressive. Another vehicle moving. Okay, that, that that's legitimately hilarious. See if they'll finish him up for me. Yep, thank you. I really hope there's another Lance of guys at the end of this because uh, the salvage is going to be awful. Let's get you up over here. Hopefully they'll target you. Probably not though. What do you need? All right, let's give that uh, Panther a hello. Tried to back away, but it's not going to save him. Should be two hits here. Nope, I ah, just one. He's in the trees, so it's not taking very much damage. Yeah, I can't believe that, man. There's no way I would have thought that that guy would have been able to crest that hill and kill that vehicle in one shot. Uh, well, I'll know better for next time. You'd think I would have learned my lesson after the last mission on this map. Fire everything on this guy. Nice. Not for the damage, but nice that you hit. Oh man. Legitimately disappointed. Yeah. Alright, let's just walk over here. There's no point in going very fast. Fire on this guy. Better chances than last time. Ah, still only one hit though. Pylon's gonna rip this uh, vehicle up, or this mech up here, a new one, when he gets over there. I'm gonna attack it from behind if I can. Yeah, put some hurt on that guy. Put some hurt in the dirt. All right, Pylon. Standing by. Let's get around behind. Ooh. Can we get right up behind him? We certainly can. And it looks like a flea. And it smells like a flea. Does it die like a flea? Well, no, it loses an arm like a flea, though. Target's taking a critical hit. All right. Still got the big boy coming. Yeah, definitely, you know, the more I'm thinking about that dead fire ammo, the more I'm thinking it's definitely worth uh, putting that back in, or putting that in to this guy. So that goes his PPC. Pretty much taking away all their chance to uh, do anything here. That flea has probably dropped a load in his pants by this point. So that panther is probably going to move first. If he doesn't die. Failed. Going down. So he's dead now, that's for sure. Two pilot injuries. Cool. Is this guy going to fire on the vehicles? Wow, that's so unusual. Usually when you target them, they all fire on you. Right here. Uh, let's take this guy on. 
I don't want him firing anymore. Okay. That should be a knockdown too, I think. No, but it will be in a second. Pylon's going to finish him up. So, Hickory. Let's do this. Oh, we got multi-target. Yeah, see, no, we don't have multi-target. It's so weird when you bounce between episodes that that happens. It's fire. Or when you bounce between uh, missions. Or, sorry, when you bounce between, uh, what do you want to call it? Um, come on, buddy, move it. When you bounce between campaigns, it does that. I don't know why... There's a knockdown. Should be able to finish that guy up. So he's going to get up and I'm not sure what he's doing. If we just plink him and knock him down again? Cool, he's making himself unstable. So we're going to attempt to plink that guy and knock him down. Get more salvage that way. So let's just move cold metal up. Gonna shoot him on the side like this. Just gonna put the SRM4 on him. Whoops. Oh, good. Took the torso instead, that's fine. It works for me. God, these vehicles are so slow. Alright, pylon, let's finish this guy up. He's not doing anything. Actually, you know what? Let's just sprint it. He's not doing anything anytime soon. He's already moved this turn. Um, yeah, let's just sprint it this way. I want to get you ahead of these vehicles just in case there is more. You're the fastest guy to do that, so let's do that. And we're going to leave... Um, Hickory will stay and finish that guy up. Yep. Let's get you up here. You be in position to attack anybody that attacks from on this side. I'm gonna go for the CT and fire both. There we go. So there might be one more set of reinforcements. We want to get these guys up over here as fast as possible. They're not gonna move very far ahead of us, but still, I want to be ahead of them when they, when we get to the uh, drop zone. So that should slow them down. If you stand in front of them, they'll generally they can they'll stop behind you. Not always. All right. Let's get up over here. It's nice that we're running extremely cool on this planet. Okay, let's see how far this guy goes. Shouldn't go far enough to get into the circle. I don't think. Or the hex. Yeah, no, okay, good, perfect. Alright, recoil. Let's get as far over here as we can. And Hickory, I, I'm just going to rotate you. I'm going to stay up on this hill. Brace. Yeah, I've had vehicles just move up and stop behind me before. But I guess all of our guys are kind of close enough that they can keep going. So let's get up here. Yeah, that Irby mech came right over the hill here and just blasted my <laughs> the vehicle in the uh, in the hex there. All right, we're almost done. We might get lucky and not get any more reinforcements, but I don't want to take that chance. Okay, here they go. We'll know in a second here. You're in position, yep. Commander. Hold your ground. There they are. On its nice. Chance for some more salvage here. Cool. Yeah, see, this is exactly what happened. And this was an urban mech. It came over the corner and hit this guy with a rack. Oh my god. It's the one with all the lasers. It's like they set you up to fail. <laughs> it's a good thing that guy's got armor. <laughs> Oh man, look at that. Look at it. 
Wasn't as dangerous as that rack vehicle, though, I'll tell you. Man, that thing crested the hill, and I would just, I dropped the load. I'm like, what? Anyway, let's finish this guy up. Alright, don't give him anything, buddy. Nine yards, ten yards, one yard, don't give him anything. Another 25 tonner. Alright, Hickory. 54% chance. We're just going to stand here and fire. Might as well. She's in a pretty good position to uh, apply some damage to these guys, so I'm just not going to move her. Didn't taste very good for him. Tastes a lot, a lot like a lot of gunpowder. 25 tonners, eh? So I'm going to send Pylon this way because he's faster. I'm going to fire on these guys. What do we got here? Commando 1D is the large in SRM-6. And this is the guy with all of the lasers, so we're just going to fire straight on this guy. Okay, so he's engaged at least. And I'm going to get the Centurion to engage the other guy that hasn't been engaged yet. Yeah. Tell him we don't want him around. Nice. It's nice that they get some kills. Let's sprint up here. Yeah, imagine coming up over this hill with dead fire ammo. Ah, wow, that was nothing. Come on, get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there. There you go. There you go. Damn it. Okay, you're shooting on a fresh guy. Still, though, that's a lot of lasers. Makes you wish I had a flame boat at this point. Uh, let's get up here on this guy's side. We got lots of lasers, too. You want lasers? We got lots of lasers, tough guy. That's what you call burrowing. Burrowing like a tick. Let's see what they do here. They don't, I don't think they've got the juice to be able to get in and shoot those vehicles. So I'm going to let Hickory unload on... Um, who do we want you to shoot for? Yep. Can we get a back shot on one of these guys over here? Not really. No point in moving. Let's just fire on this guy up here. All we need is one CT hit. Well, we knock his ass down anyway. Nice. Got past the armor. Two pilot hits. All right, here comes the last commando. Oh, okay, he's entrenched. Ready so Pylon's just going to walk it back here. Roger. And we're going to shoot on this guy, who's not entrenched. Now let's see how you handle this. Ow. Bye-bye. He's just taking a bit of a dirt nap. All right, cold metal. Let's get up over... Where are we going to go? We're going to sprint it up over here. Actually, can we see both of these guys anywhere? Just by moving. It's one or the other there. Unless we sprint here. We can shoot them both. So let's do that. We're going to multi-target. Fire on this guy. And we're going to fire on uh, this guy. And we're going to put the Thunderbolt to B. The AC to B. Medium to A and SRM to A. And just fire. Engaging multiple targets. Wow. I can't believe we missed those. Oh, he's incapacitated though. Nice. I don't know if that was a head hit or not. Wow, both of those hit though. The objective is secured, Commander. Excellent. We don't need to evac, we just got one guy left. It's a lot of commando parts though, unfortunately.
Looks like we're taking a lot of junk for our salvage. Alright, Pylon, he's all yours. Uh, sorry. Maybe not. Let's get this done fast. Let's go recoil. Fire everything. Alright, almost done. What do you need? Well, we're just going to take salvage that's going to give us some cash. Here we go. I think there's probably two engines. There's the Panther engine and maybe this this engine up here. What's up, boss? Definitely going to need cash to refit our mechs. Well, refit, refit the Centurion, that is. That should do it. There we go. One less target. Cool. Mission. Alright, so we got 20% increase. Didn't get it for letting all of them, um, having all the uh, vehicles get away, but still okay. 134,000. Uh, enough to cover probably whatever repairs we have. We didn't take any significant damage at all. And we're going to go past the mech parts here. I'm going to get down to what we got for salvage. AC5, AC2s. Wow, look at all these lasers. There's the fusion cores. Take the 185 and the 155. And how much is this one worth? Yeah, let's take that one as well. What else do we got down here? Anything worthwhile? I'm thinking maybe we just take the AC5 then. Oh, oh, hello there. Plus one accuracy ballistic. I'm taking that for sure. Anything else down here? That was probably on the uh, the AC2 carrier. Nothing else we really want here. Looking for cash. Going to have good chances to get salvage though. So we got one, two, three commando parts, two panther parts. All right, not bad. A couple of AC2s, some mediums, small lasers. Heat sink. Okay, we made it okay. All right, so it's only 9,000 in repairs, which is pretty good for taking on three lances. One at a time, though. All right, so I think probably what we're going to do is we're going to move to a new system, and we're going to refit the Centurion um, along the way. So let's manage our tasks a little bit here. Move the Centurion up and get that going earlier. So it's done in two days, and... I don't think we need to do that. There's, I mean, there's only half skull missions here, and then one and a half skull, which I'm not sure if we're 100% ready for yet. But um, we're definitely going to be moving to a new planet, I think. There's no point in uh, rushing things. So let's go to the star map, figure out where we're going to go here. We're going to start heading towards clan space. So let's find a relatively short jump in this direction. 11 days, there we go. Eidsvoss? Sure. Large population, pirate presence, planet-wide storms, recreation. Large, okay, yeah, okay, that's, that's pretty good. Black market, hallucinatory vegetation. Yeah, good planet. Let's head that way. Now, so once the Centurion's fixed, we're going to get that uh, laid out. All right, so now that it's fixed, right, right? Yes, it is. Let's go to the mech bay. And let's look at this. So we're going to refit it. I think I figured out how to do this. What? What just happened there? Refit. Okay. So we're going to pull out the Thunderbolt 15. Going to pull out the SRM4. Going to pull out... Uh, we need the AC5 ammo in there. Uh, AC10 ammo can come out. This can come out. And then we're going to go and we're going to need the dead fire ammo. We're going to need at least two two more tons of LRM ammo, I'm thinking. And if we go to missile systems, we're going to find our LRM-15 and our LRM-10. And we're two tons over, and I think um, we can we can pull the medium laser. How do I remember how we did this now? I did set this up. I mean, we could downgrade to the AC-2, which will save us two tons. There was, what did I do now? I'm trying to remember how I had this laid out. Um, did we need the exchanger? I can't remember now. I think we do. Yes. I'm trying to remember how I did this now. Um, there is a way to do this. Maybe I have to pull the medium. So this is 120 rounds. This is 100 rounds, right? So it's 220. 
So that'll give me nine, almost nine turns of firing. It's not going to work. I'd have to take the AC-5 out. I mean, we could just go with the LRM-15 triple plus with a dead fire. And this is, what, five tons. But it's such a good bonus to hit on this thing too, right? Like, if we do downgrade the this to an AC-2, we're only, I mean, that's not even worth it, right? We'd be better off... What do we have missile system-wise? Another LRM-10, SRM-6. We'd be better all going with missiles, right? Even with, like, another LRM-10 in there. Like, put three LRMs in the torso. That's 35. Yeah, this is this would be six damage each. This is six damage each. So it's 120. And then this is 105 damage. So 125, 225 in damage. If it, everything hits. That's if everything hits. This is such a nice weapon though for range damage. Maybe we're going to do this then. And do this. And we could leave the SRM-4 in. Although I'm not think. well, you know, it's got to be missile systems. Right, we got to drop missile systems back and we got four tons. It could be... Mm. You know what? I just don't think we have enough to pull this off yet. We need another... something ballistic that's light. Like the light rifle is what? Four tons. We could drop the light rifle in. It's got 15 rounds. 30 damage. It's definitely better than the AC-2. Two recoil though. Let's try that then. Let's let's take the AC-5 out, put the light rifle in here, and then we'll take our LRM-15 again, our LRM-10, drop it in here. So now we've still got, okay wait, now I can go and get, take out this exchanger and put this one in. That's going to give me great heat sinking. And then, what do we got left? Three tons. We could put... This won't work with dead fire ammo. But we could put... Well, we need more LRM ammo, that's what it is. Definitely need one more. So we got 240, 300 and... 340... So if we drop the LRM-5 in as well, just the regular LRM-5, we're out of room. Well, we have to leave the patchwork in for it to work. I mean, we could just crank the armor up too, right? Definitely we could use more armor. So if we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, one, two, three. And then one, two, three, like that. And we got one ton remaining. We're doing well with heat. What can we put in for one ton? I mean, it'd have to be armor, right? Nothing else we can do. If I pull out the patchwork, and just make the rest armor. We can max out the armor. I think it's pretty close to max anyway. Something like that. And that's, that'll make this guy a beast at close range. So let's do this. Let's do this and confirm. 18 days. A little longer than I expected. But I'm thinking this is going to run really well. And we don't really have anything that's overheating. The Phoenix Hawk slightly when it's moving. Flea is still really, really um, 
good with regards to heat. So I think we're probably okay there. Jenner never have to worry about heat on this one, so that's fine. It would be nice if we could change these Thunderbolt 10s out for Thunderbolt um, 15s, but there's just no way to do it. So alright, let's just leave it as that, and we'll continue on. So once we get to the new planet, we're going to call it for today. I want to check out what um, what kind of uh, um, stuff is in the store when we get there. Uh, it's just a lot of card games on the mess deck. Better than being in the mech bay. So we've got a little bit of cash too before the end of the month. So I'm wondering if there's something that we can get in the um, engineering section. I know we were talking about getting uh, the um, lounge up and running. To see about doing that. Okay, let's see what's in the store here. Alright, let's have a look. Alright, so not a lot here. Parts, eh. Can't buy parts, unfortunately. LRM 15 plus. Plus one LRM damage. Hmm. AC 10s, vehicle flamers, case, endo steel. God, look at all this stuff. Um, double heat sinks, proto heat sinks. TTS double plus. Minus one accuracy with ranged weapons, cockpit upgrades, various effects. Oh, that's a small cockpit. Pit? What? Oh, there we go. Plus three in accuracy with indirect fire. We don't need that. All right, see what else we got here. Nothing else down here. All right, so we're good. So we're going to end the episode here. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. Uh, feel free to subscribe and check out my other series that are going on right now. Um, Funky Steve's Medina's is another Rogue Tech series that's on my channel. Uh, also, there's... Um, the 900, which is my Battletech Flashpoint series. It's running right now. Uh, yeah, but other than that, I'll uh, see you all next time.